what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? It was Colorado versus Colorado in a double overtime nail biter that saw Deion Sanders' Buffaloes led by his son Shador once again walk away with the victory. I ain't got no problem with that, but some people do, so let's talk about it. Family. People are really hating on <laughs> Deion Sanders. <laughs> they want him to lose bad. But I think perhaps more people want him to win because there are so many people who are invested in this game. This is the first time I watched a college football game and probably, I don't know, 10 years. I mean, I've seen some of the championship games, uh, but this is the first time I've watched a regular season game in about 10 years. It's interesting. It's, it's history in the making. Now, Dion is in the press conference, uh, the, the post game press conference. And he's at, he's, uh, you know, fielding uh, various questions. One reporter asked him, like, hey, Dion, your son, Shador, uh, you know, he's performing on this level. This is the first time he was able to do something like this. What do you think? And Dion was like, look, my son has always done this. This is who he is. He did it. He just did it at an HBCU, and you guys didn't see it. Uh, you know, I guess y'all didn't have televisions out here or something, but, you know, Dion got them little sleek comebacks, you know. He, you be talking real slick to those reporters because I guess they'd be talking slick to him. So he got that comeback for him. But anyway, Dion was like, yeah, this this is what he do. This is who he is, you know, because he has the passion, he has the talent, you know, he has the tenacity to play at this level. This is what he do. He does this all the time. And he said that, but there are people out there who don't want to see him succeed but this is who he is so get used to it before i go any further salute to colorado state they played a hell of a game they just came up short but they left it on the field those boys gave colorado everything they could handle they was not playing any games and here's the thing colorado <laughs> is a marked team. Everybody is going to bring them their best. I mean, everybody they play is going to be coming for them. They're gonna be gunning for them. And so they're gonna to have to play at a high level every single time. They, they're not gonna get any games off. So Colorado is now three and oh, but it's about to get real because they now have to travel to Oregon who is ranked number 13. Colorado is ranked number 18. They do have a little experience in beating ranked teams because they knocked off TCU, who's ranked number 17, a week ago. But it's about to get really real because they got to travel to Oregon, play them in their house without their star two-way player, Travis Hunter, who got knocked out of the game on a dirty play. He went down in what was, I think it was the first quarter. He, he came back in briefly, but they had to take him out and send him to the hospital. So it's about to get really real. We about to see how many dogs are really in the pound come this weekend. I know one thing, Deion Sanders is a draw. With the type of attention he's bringing to college football, he should be making a hundred million dollars this year alone, I don't know, fam. I know he signed a contract, but I'd probably go try to renegotiate like right now. I'd be calling him up like, hey, man, I, you know, I know I signed for $10 million, but, man, I'm going to need 100 you know, I'm going to need 100 on this one, man, you know, because I'm just bringing, I, I'm just bringing this, this team and this city and this state and this program, this college football program, the NCAA, just 
way too much attention. I mean, everybody getting paid. They're selling out merch. They got $500 tickets, plane tickets. I mean, people are getting behind Colorado. I was telling my homeboy yesterday, I said, man, I never thought I'd be rooting for Colorado in my life. But that just goes to show you how life is. It's kind of like a box of chocolate. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>